Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Let's dig in and take a look at how perpetual futures, open interest, and funding rate impact the price. We are on Glassnode's uh, charts and have um, combined a few metrics together. We have the um, black line being Bitcoin's price. We have the purple line being the perpetual futures funding rate. And we have the green line representing the open interest. And this horizontal lighter purplish line is the uh, zero level for um, funding rate. That may, uh, And we'll explain all this in a second. So let's start by Removing some of these uh, other indicators. Oh, we want to leave volume off for now. All right, let's take a look at uh, f uh, funding rate. What happens between funding rate and price? So here, let's take a take a look at some points where we can. Um, so here we have f uh, funding rate going going up, price going horizontal. Funding rate starts dropping, price starts dropping, okay? So, so far, you know, you could think, okay, well, there, there could be some uh, influence there, but they look like they're moving similarly. But let's look at some more data points. Here, funding rate went up, price went down, so they diverge. Funding rate went down, price went up. Funding rate went up, price went down. Funding rate went down, price went up. So more often than not, they have somewhat diverging or negative correlation. Not exactly uh, like cor uh, heavy correlation there, but there are some, okay? And here again, you can see from this point to this point, funding rate went up, price dropped from that point to that point. Funding rate dropped from, went from here, uh, he here to negative here, and price went the opposite direction, although not as sharp of a drop. Same thing here. Funding rate went positive from negative to positive. Price went down. So there are more patterns where um, they are divergent than they are when they are moving together, like here and here. Or this one goes up, this one goes horizontal. So that's funding rate. Okay, so just to summarize funding rate. Funding rate are highly likely to diverge against price, but it depends. It doesn't always happen, but it depends. What it depends on is open interest. So I'm gonna turn funding rate off and turn on open interest. Oh, before we go there, I wanna explain something else. Here, the horizontal purple line is where funding rate is zero. Whenever funding rate is above that, it's positive, meaning Longs or people who are betting the price will go up are paying a premium to the people who are holding short positions. People are betting that price will go down. When funding rate is negative, like it is here in this region, people who are short or think that the price of Bitcoin will go down are paying a premium to the longs or people who are thinking the price is going to go up. And those premiums are collected at the end of the eight hour periods, typically on most exchanges. Those periods are at noon Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So at the end of that period, in perpetual futures, whoever the the the, uh, the rates, the rate, the rates, whoever, whatever the wherever the price is, whoever is closest, they move the, the, uh, the, the amount of money uh, uh, for those premiums to that side. So if let's say, let's say at 8 p.m. tonight, the, um, the price went down, right? That means that the shorts are closer to their positions. They, they, the price move in their direction. So the premiums will be re uh, awarded to the short positions and move to their margin accounts. Okay, hope that helped. 
let's turn off the uh, funding rate and turn on the open interest and see how it plays with um, price. Here, you can see open interest going horizontal and price also goes horizontal. Open interest drop and price drops. And then they both increase and they both decrease and they both kind of increase and they both kind of decrease. But then open interest shot up and then price went down. And then just for the two day period there. And then they both move together again. Down, well, except for here. Here open interest went slightly up, price went down, but here they went back, they went back together again. Both down, okay? And then here they kind of, di um, they, di uh, they came together. Open interest went down, price went up, and then continue, and, and then they both continue up. And here one goes down, the other one kind of goes slightly down. Uh, open interest went heavier down than price. Here they both went up, and here they both went down. Here they kind of converge, and so on and so forth. So overall, what you see is that they kind of move together, except for a few periods here, and a little bit over here. But overall, they kind of they kind of move together, but not always. So how do we combine open interest, the green line, with the funding rate? So we already know that the funding rate and the price can di can um, have negative correlation, meaning they can diverge or move in opposite directions. So open interest can add weight to the funding rate. What that means is when open interest is high, the likelihood of funding rate impacting price is higher. Okay, so let's take a look at this point right in this section here. Open interest is high. We have open interest at. 12 billion dollars 12.1 billion dollars and funding rate is at 0 0.009 which is not high it's positive but it's not high it's high in this time frame but it's not that high compared to other periods that we've seen but regardless there there once uh funding rate is positive open interest is high chances are highly likely that the price is going to drop and that's exactly what it did it dropped here the reason it drops is so that all these people who are law, um, I'm sorry, all these people who are betting and that the price, who are long on Bitcoin, they're betting the price is going to go up. Guess what? Smart money or whales will take the opposing direction, influence the price to drop to collect all that, uh, to collect the profit. So he, that's exactly what happened. Price dropped. When price dropped, some of this, uh, some of those margin accounts in um, in open interest gets liquidated, and you can see price drop, uh, the open interest drop here too, as they get liquidated. So let's summarize that point. Funding rate is, is positive, to positively higher. Open interest is high, likely for price to drop, it's higher. So price did drop at a steeper line here. All right. Now let's take a look at the opposite, and this is uh, a very s small opposite, not enough to illustrate the point, but it does illustrate some, some point. Here we have funding rate going from positive to negative within two days. So this was on January the 10th, the 11th is right here, and the 12th is right here. Big, it, looks like big, it looks like a bigger drop than it really is, but it went from funding rate of 0 0.005 to negative 0 0.008 so funding rate drop that means shorts are now paying longs to hold their positions and inter uh, open interest is rising that means the chance of that happening to get the shorts liquidated is higher although it's not much of an increase you go from open interest of 10.6 10.7 billion to uh, 11 billion so uh, 0.3 billion dollars difference. So, but it still makes makes a difference. Open interest went up, solidifying the impact of funding rate dropping. Price went up, liquidated some shorts. Some of those uh, positions got liquidated, so open interest dropped. See that? So, let's summarize the overall points. 
funding rate increases and if open interest is also I'm sorry, if funding is positive and open interest is higher, the chance of price decreasing is higher, like it did here. If funding rate is negative and open interest is, is high or increasing, chance of price going up to liquidate the shorts are higher, like it did here. I hope that provided additional value for you to help you understand open interest and perpetual futures and uh, funding rates. If you found value, uh, please go ahead and smash the like, ring the notification bell, and hit the subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. See you in the next video, more likely tomorrow, if not sooner today. Take care.